What is up YouTube? It's Kingfisher745 and yes I'm back again already. There are just so many amazing updates that have happened recently that I had to make another video. Now if you watched my speed run of chapter 12 mission 1 you'll notice that I was really excited about a new way to farm command points. But after running mission 2 I can definitely tell you that it is by far the best way to farm command points in the game. In fact, I'm going to prove it to you by running the mission very quickly and you'll see just how fast you can farm command points. Now the very first thing you need to do is go into chapter 12 and select mission 2. When we bring this screen up we're going to go ahead and select normal difficulty and the reason for this is because it will be a lot easier and much faster. We're just here to farm command points. After we've selected normal difficulty, the map will come up and it will look very similar to mission one. First we gotta skip through this text and here comes the map and the map is going to show all these mini bosses and it's also going to have the boss and one deploy. Now the deployment is key to unlocking the epic boss and it requires Kitty Pride aka Shadow Cat. So you have to have her in order to take advantage of the epic boss roulette as well. The very first thing you want to do is send her out on the deploy. Because the time it takes is one battle and you're only doing one battle. So anyways you go to the only boss, it will just say boss rather than mini boss. He has all the mini bosses with him and it is Baron Zemo. You have to use Captain America against him, but since you're fighting on normal it won't even be a problem. I went ahead and went with Modern Blaster Thor once again and the reason is because he takes out enemies really fast and the whole point of this for me is to do a quick speed run for easy CP. So anyways Cap starts out with Shield Guard so he's gonna counter everyone. And this counter against these weakened opponents is one way to take them out really fast. So it's actually a pretty good team up. There's really no reason to choose the Scrapper outfit. I just went ahead and threw it on and got ready for the next battle. Which you will see will be against an Infiltrator Epic Boss. But it really didn't matter because on normal... As you can see, you can just one-shot these mini-bosses. And even if you don't one-shot them, you still should be able to take them out pretty quickly, depending on your level and things like that. But it looks like Shield Guard is going to last us throughout the entire mission, which is also a benefit, because Cap's not only going to take the hit, he's gonna dish out a counterattack. Now if you don't have Cap's alternate costume you can just go ahead and cast Shield Guard on yourself. And we take out Fake Cap after this Shield Guard and we're already on the last wave. So you can see the time spent on this mission is very very short and the reward is possibly five command points but the greatest benefit is it only costs 10 energy and you cannot beat that there is no other mission that you can get to the end boss other than these chapter 12 missions and only spend 10 energy that's what makes this whole thing absolutely amazing and the fact that mission 2 has the epic boss just means that for only 10 more energy you can get another spin on the roulette but only the second spin has a chance at 10 command points and that quickly we're done with the regular part now after the mission you will see the boss reward I'm going to show you that you can win 5, 1, or 3 command points it's the same as any other wheel for only 10 energy and I happen to win 3 command points 
then you're wanna, gonna want to click through the text And as soon as the text goes by, they're going to start giving you your silver from all the mini bosses and the boss. And right after this is over, you can click on your deploy and finish that. Then they'll give you another reward. And as soon as you get that reward, you will see Viper pop up on the map. Now this is the epic boss. And it's that simple. And you just go in and you fight Viper. And once again, this is on normal, so there's only two waves, and it will go very fast. Especially if you can deal out a lot of damage. These robots do have protect on them. But as you can see, Cap almost took one out with one hit. I of course have the scrapper outfit on for Viper, but it's not really necessary. Unless you're struggling for some reason, maybe you're a low level or just don't have access to certain ISO 8. But it's definitely a lot easier than challenge mode for everyone. Challenge mode is definitely doable, especially if you want some of the customized weapons but they're really not that great from what I saw and this is mainly about farming command points so you want to go through it as quickly as possible and you'll see we're already to the second wave we're gonna go ahead and hit her with cap even though it causes a counter attack just because she can't hit me back very hard and Captain America did a ton of damage from his hit and then we'll follow that up with a double attack, which we won't even need the second attack of. And we are done with the epic boss battle already, and we're on to our second spin of a roulette. And I will show you that there are 10 command points, 3 command points, and 5 command points on the wheel, just like a normal epic boss. Everything's normal about this, and I win 5 command points. So for just 20 energy and that short amount of time, I was able to win 8 command points. And this is why this is by far the best way to farm CP right now. It cannot be beat. 20 energy, 2 spins, and a maximum potential of 15 command points. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I really hope this helped you. If you don't have Kitty Pride, I suggest you get her. And good luck on farming. I hope you all get all the command points you need to buy everything you want. I just want to ask you all to please like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, thank you for watching.